Hey there guys and gals and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Clock Tower and we're going to tell him yes. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. The sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go now then. And I was wise because it does just cut to Scenario 2. Scenario 2, Nolan Campbell. Mm -mm. Nice chandelier. It's a chandelier. <laughs> Slowly. No rush. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yes. If you have any, if you have any idea, please tell me. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? <laughs> Barrow's Castle? Yes, it is a castle in England. Then before the Barrow's family moved... Was interrupted there. <laughs> Sorry. Is there something in the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. Just like Scissor Man. I had thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the f household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Then, there is a way of defeating Scissor Man. And talk to him again. Rick? <coughs> Rick, do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is... I will point out the uh, differences in the scenarios. Well, the scenario between Helen and Jennifer's. No, Helen. I was given this chandelier as a farewell chandelier. present when I retired. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion. Yes, what wonderful times they were. Except for... That was in the opening FMV! In Helen's scenario, if you send the uh, gods to wreck, he'll be mauled by his dog, Victor. We Take out the atmosphere. <laughs> I thought that was gonna end center, sorry. And... gotta run. Scissor man here. Aw, oh, he dead. Okay. Hiding spot, hiding spot. Hiding spot. Oh, you fucker. You little shit. I was gonna hide there. You fucker. Uh, there is another spot. Can I use anything in here? No, great. That little fucker. I was gonna use that spot. Um in here. Okay, sure, just walk casually. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. Go, 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 please. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Quickly. Now would be a good idea. There we go. 
here it comes. I'm not sure if it can get in. Ah! Obviously not. Okay. Bye bye. Little fucking shit. Nearly had a heart attack whenever he popped up. Little fucker. Okay, there is some uh, dish soap that we need in this place. So, pick it up. There is some detergent and other cleaning supplies. This could be used to blind someone. Now have powder soap. That powder soap is to aid us in our escape. It would also be used in Helen's scenario. In here is another hiding spot, although it's not as good as in there was. There's no point in going there, to be honest. Um, oh, wait. wait. What's this? <laughs> take a speak. Uh, can he take a No? Okay. Gods takes a drink. Many dishes of elegant design. Anyway, we've got to go in the kitchen and investigate that little mask that was there. So that we can get the location of the Barrow's Castle. A wooden mask on the wall. So it must be a souvenir from Africa. Something is written on it. This, this is the location of the Barrow's Castle. Now confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. And it's alive! Uh, pick up the vase. And throw it at the mask. If you throw it at anything else, you'll die. There we go. Okay. Through the door. Run! Run like the wind! I really hope he doesn't spawn here. I'll be annoyed if he does. <clears throat> oh, here he comes again. The little ah! fuck. Ugh, really, scissor man? Really? Okay. I'll go use your fucking hiding spot. Because it'll be scientifically impossible for you to be in two places at once. Go, 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 go. Yay, it worked. You won't find me, and if you do, I claim bullshit. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Good. Can you move any slower? I know he has an exaggerated limp, but really? Bye bye! Okay, he's gone. Yay! We need to go find the statue now. Which is upstairs? It's never explained why in Helen's scenario uh, Rick gets mauled by his dog Victor. Although, I kind of speculate that Scissor Man might have fed him raw meat or something, like gave him blood and it made him go vicious. I don't know. I don't know how dogs work. I think that's how dogs work. Because would it not unleash the uh, basic animal instinct in them? Because canines are close to wolves. Okay, in here, and we shall find the statue. It's in this closet. There seems to be something inside. Then pick it up. Jesus. A small room. 
there is a statue about 30 centimeters tall. So this is the statue Jennifer was talking about. It feels cold. We now have the statue. That's all for this place. And I will show you where you get the location of the Barrow's Castle and the statue if you come here as gods in Helen's scenario. Just for fun. Oh, please be in here. Always oh, not. Oh. Anyway, you find the statue on this table in Helen's scenario. Cut out newspaper articles are on the table. They are about the incident that happened yesterday. Just as I thought he must have known something about Scissor Man. And you find the location of the Barrow's Castle. Oh no, you find the location of the Barrow's Castle behind this portrait in Helen's scenario. The frame is a bit. is protruding a bit. I wonder if there's something behind there. There's nothing here. In Helen's scenario, it's. The location of the Barrow's Castle is written there. I insanely want Scissor Man to be in there. You could easily jump off there. Make a sprained angle or something, but you could easily jump off. You'd have to worry about the dog at the bottom, but you know. I'm gonna leave this room and go back in it because I really want Scissorman to be in there. It's hilarious. Okay, go back in. Please, if not, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what is that? Oh fuck. His laugh. Oh lord. That laugh is creepy. Okay, that was fun. Okay, in the room again. To the closet and get into the hiding spot and then we'll leave. In the hiding spot now. Now Nolan. There we go. He honestly shouldn't find me. Nope. Hasn't found me. Great. Haha, uh -huh, you suck. He's a way to go, but he's a way to go watch cartoons again. He only chased us during the commercials. Okay. I, can't <laughs> I just love how they added that in. <laughs> he's sitting there watching TV. And the old guy who he killed's rocking chair. Anyway, we'll be able to leave through the back door now because the front door's locked. Even though the front and back door seem to lead the same place. Well, not the same place, but a similar place. Okay. Open the curtain. Out back, Rick's dog is glaring into the room. The dog's mad with... I wonder what's wrong with him. I didn't read that. Although by the sounds of things he's either gone rabid or he's... Hungry for human flesh. Didn't get rid at all. And if you try to leave without using the powder soap, you'll get mauled to death. Here, take this! As much as I hate to do that, you have to. Poor doggy. I love doggies. And I'll keep on going.
this is only 15 minutes, so I'll be able to keep on going. Nolan, I wonder if he found the statue all right. Uh, let's go see Nolan then. Oh, no, wait, he'll be at the police station. Oh, no, he's not. Nolan, are you all right? Yes, Scissor Man was after me. What? It hasn't made the news yet, but Rick was killed. Nolan just got through being questioned by Inspector Gotts. Yeah, he was almost convinced I was the murderer. I'm so sorry, Nolan. You were in danger because of me. In danger. Everything is okay now, so don't worry. Here is the statue, isn't it? Here, this is the statue, isn't it? It was in R Rick's home. Thank you. Also, I discovered the location of a castle. The Barrow's Castle. Maybe there is a connection. Maybe there is a connection. The Barrow's Castle? I think the castle is in England. Do you want... Do you want to go? Yes. Maybe we can discover something about Scissor Man there. We must find some kind of clue. Maybe that's where Scissor Man was born. Scissor Man's birthplace. In any case, it may be safer there. He wouldn't follow us to England. Why not? All right then. I'll tell everyone. Right. I'll tell God's otherwise too. Otherwise, he he will really think I'm a murderer. Why would he not follow them to England? If I was a murderer, I would. Let's go tell everybody. Oh, Jennifer, I heard you were going to the Barrow's Castle in England. How did you know that? That guy Nolan told me. We've decided we'll go with you too. You have? This is a good chance to see a castle, and it sounds like fun. Nars. Oh. I'm going to try and save them all, if I can. Oh, well. I should tell Edward and Kay. Norway International Hotel. Again. Oh, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer! Well, hello, Jennifer. I think we are, clo we are getting close to discovering the secret to Scissor Man. The secret to Scissor Man? Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. And the Barrows used to live there. I see. So that's Scissor Man's home. So Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. You are? Is that a good idea? Well... It may be dangerous, but... I'll go with you, Jennifer. What? Edward, don't be ridiculous. But if we don't do something, he'll probably kill us, too. Hmm. May I go with you, Jennifer? Okay, I'll tell Helen. Oh, dear. No, Jennifer, you can't do that. That's up to Kay. She's his guardian, even though she's kind of pointless. I wonder if the inspector is in. Police station. Even though Nolan said that they would tell Inspector Gaunt, she has to. Hi, Jennifer. I heard Scissorman's back. The media's going to jump all over it again. This is indeed an interesting case. I would love to see the scissor man. Hmm. 
Inspector Gotts, I am going to England. It's Assistant Inspector. Are you going there to study? No, not really. There is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissorman. The Barrows Castle. So that is where the Barrows family used to live before they immigrated to Norway. I think so. That sounds rather interesting. I will accompany you as well. Hold on a second, Prof. What about the case? You go, you too, Jennifer. You are an important witness in the case. You can't just traipse off like that. Then come with us. Huh? There must be some reason as to why the murderer disguises himself as Scissorman. We might be able to learn why by investigating the Barrow's castle. History. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Prof. I'll go. But what am I going to say to my boss? No need to worry. You will be a hero if the case is solved. As long as I ain't made a goat. Eh, he doesn't want to be made a scapegoat. That's cute. He might die. And Helen might be here. I don't understand why Helen would be there. Okay. Jennifer, I heard from Nolan. Now we have a clue about Scissorman. Yes, but we don't know anything for sure yet. There are some... There are now ten people going to England. Some of them think it's going to be a picnic. We'll leave on the first flight in the morning. I've already arranged for a rental car. I hope we can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Me too. And I'll stop here because Scenario 3 will just be jumped straight into. Uh, so thanks for watching part 3 of Let's Play Clock Tower and stay tuned for part 4 where we're going to England. Okay, peace out. Bye! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love how we set those up. <laughs> it's just like, I'm going to set these up so that they stay killed when they walk past them. Oh, Jesus Christ, he really goes off.